Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with an author spotlight video. So this month we are spotlighting author Sarah Morgan. I am a huge, huge fan of Sarah Morgan. I've been reading her books for years. I eagerly anticipate every new one and look forward to reading them. And the reason I wanted to talk about her specifically this month was because her newest book, Beach House Summer, comes out on the 17th of May. So not today, the day that this video is going out, but a week today. So you guys have time if you want to go ahead and pre-order it. I, I suggest you do because it sounds absolutely delightful. But anyway, I am here to talk about Sarah Morgan and her books. So I kind of give you guys just a little bit of background into the author themselves, their writing. And then I talk about mainly the big push to the, these videos is to share with you guys just some of the author's books to kind of give you a place to get started if you're looking for where to start with this author. So her first book was published in 2000. It was called Worth the Risk and it was published under the uh, Mills and Boone uh, medical line. Un to my understanding, it was not published under Harlequin here in, the, in North America, excuse me, but only under um, Mills and Boone in the UK. She is a UK based author. She lives just outside of London, I believe. So like I said, that book was published in November of 2000. So she's been writing ever since then. She has published around 80 books. <laughs> like, wow. And when she wrote for Category, because she did get her start writing for Mills and Boone and Harlequin, she wrote predominantly for the Medical line as well as the Presents line. And I know her books are well loved by a lot of people. Truth be told, you guys know I am a junkie for all things category romance. I actually haven't read any of her, um, her, her medical or her presents yet. I have a bunch of them on my shelves. I need to get to them. That's one of my goals for this year is to read through some of her backlist, if at all possible. So yeah, she has written a lot. I did see Anita from Anita Reads um, posted, I think it was on... Instagram the other day that she read one of Sarah Morgan's older medical books and really, really enjoyed it. So there is a, um, uh, you know, a little reference for you guys in case you're interested. Um, but yeah, I hear a lot of great things about her category books and I can see it. Like if she writes as well as she does for single title, her categories must be spectacular. So um, let's get into the five books that I want to share with you guys. So these are in order of publication. So the first one I want to talk about is Sleigh Bells in the Snow. And this came out in 2013. Um, this is the first book in the O'Neill Brothers trilogy. This is actually the first book by Sarah Morgan I ever read. And I loved this book. So this is a Christmas romance. You guys know how much I love a good Christmas romance. And... Um, this is the story of Kayla and Kayla lives in the UK and she works for like a marketing firm and she heads over to Vermont in the US to work with this place called the Snow Crystal Ski Resort and while she's there she meets a guy named Jackson and Jackson runs the resort and she's a bit of a Christmas Scrooge and he is not and the two of them end up having a relationship and it's totally sweet totally adorable I love it so so much I'm so glad this was my first because it was so great and it just made me want to read everything else by her. And I think this trilogy is one of the only ones that I've ever read back to back to back. You guys know I'm not, I'm, I'm a series reader, but I'm not a back to back to back series reader. Like I will not read one after another. I do need breaks in my series, but this is one that I literally read straight through and loved it. The series itself or the trilogy itself is fantastic. The next book I want to talk about is called First Time in Forever, and this came out in 2015, and it's the first book in the Puffin Island series. So this is about a woman named Emily who ends up taking charge of her niece, Lizzie. And I think they move back to this place, this Puffin Island, this island off the coast. I want to say, I can't remember exactly where, but I'm pretty sure it, it was in like New England, the New England area. And, um, a tragic accident befell Lizzie's parents and you know Emily is now taking charge of her so she goes back to this island the problem is is that on this island they are of course as it is on an island you're surrounded by water and poor Lizzie has a great fear of the water they don't know why that's kind of revealed as the book starts you know as the book opens up there is this is definitely a romance um and it is between her and what's the guy's name Ryan He's a yacht club owner 
and him and Emily have a relationship and she's learning to work with her niece and and how to deal with this 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 uh is she a teenager I can't yeah um stand in mom for her niece Lizzie um so yeah I, I'm not I can't remember how old the child was she wasn't young but she wasn't a teenager I want to say she was like maybe eight to twelve if I'm remembering correctly it's been a number of years since I've read this book but I really did like it and in this book for me anyway you could really see Sarah Morgan starting to move from just the stripped down contemporary romance like this is like a contemporary like where the romance was the focus of the story like it was in um sleigh bells in the snow and probably for her category books as well to what she does now which is much more i would consider it to be women's fiction where there is a romance there but it's usually second to the main issue in the story. So you could really see that in First Time and Forever. At least that was my reading of the book. Um, how, yes, there was this relationship between Emily and Ryan, but what also was really focused on was the relationship between Emmy and, uh, Emily and Lizzie and Lizzie dealing with what she was dealing with. And I really, really liked it. So that being said, the next one I do want to talk about is another act, contemporary romance series. And if people were to ask me, where should I start with Sarah Morgan? I love reading contemporary romance. I'm a contemporary romance reader. Where do I start? Absolutely 100% the Sleepless, um, the From Manhattan with Love series. This is the first book, Sleepless in Manhattan. So there are six books in this series. And in my opinion, it can be read as two trilogies. I would recommend you read the first three before you read the second three. But you could read the first three take a break and then read the second three. Like, and you don't have to read them back to back to back. Um, you could take some breaks in between, but this series is so, so, so good. So of course it takes place in New York city. I love the titles of all of the books in this series. Um, so this is the first one, like I said, sleepless in Manhattan, and this is Paige's story. So Paige and her two best friends, um, is it Frankie and Evie or Eve, Frankie and Eve, I think are the other two girls names in this first set of three books. They all work together at a events company. That's right. It's an events company. And this is not a spoiler alert because it happens right at the beginning of the book. They lose their jobs like all on the same day. So they decide to start their own events um, company, essentially. And it's the three of them. They each have their own book. And this is Paige's story. And it's her relationship with, um, is it her brother's friend? um, her brother's best friend. So it's a brother's best friend romance. That's right. I couldn't remember if it was her story or Frankie's story that had that one, but, um, an absolutely wonderful, wonderful series. And then the second trilogy, if you will, the other books, four, five, and six are friends of these girls and it's their stories. So that's why I'm saying like they can be read. You could split them into two separate trilogies, but I consider it all one. I mean, it is considered to be one big series, but you could read it as two separate trilogies if you so desired. Um, both trilogies have a Christmas book. The one for this, this first part. So book three is called Miracle on Fifth Avenue. And my very good friend Brie, I know it is her favorite Christmas book of all time. And it's, I love it as well. It's just absolutely delightful. And I think she rereads it every Christmas. So yeah, this series I absolutely love it. I did go out and buy the UK and I'm slowly picking up the UK covers of these because I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at the spines, you guys. Like, it's just abs. Like, I, I don't know what it is about UK editions. I love them. I absolutely love them. So yeah, highly, highly recommend. If you are a contemporary romance person, my mother has read all of these and love them as well. Um, next up, where Sarah Morgan starts to shift in a way, into the women's fiction books that she is now writing. Again, there are romances in these books, but the focus is not on the romance. It's usually on relationships within the family. And she writes two books every year. We always get a summer book, which um, Beach House Summer is coming out, like I said, next week. And then a Christmas book as well. And I love the Christmas books. So the last two books, one is um, a Christmas one, and the last one is last year's summer book. So the Christmas one is one of my favorites that she wrote. And this is the Christmas Sisters. And oh my gosh, you guys, I loved this book so much. So this came out in 2018. Um, and it is the story of three sisters. Um, the story of Hannah. Um, what are their names again? Hannah, Beth, and 
um, uh, sorry, 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 uh, Beth and Posey. So three sisters who go, their mother and father, or mother asked them to come home to the Scottish Highlands to spend Christmas. So like all three of them are a little bit different. So one of them is a workaholic. One of them's a stay at home mom. You know what I mean? So like they're all in very different points in their lives and they really don't talk. So there is a romance that happens within this, this book, but it's definitely the focus is on these three sisters. And this was so, so good. I, I gave this five stars when I read it, you guys. I, I absolutely loved it. I highly, highly recommend it. And, um, yeah, I think you guys need to check this one out. Like, if you're looking for something fun and Christmassy to read this this year, something that's heartfelt that really gives you the Christmas spirit, this is definitely the one that I would recommend. And the last book I want to talk about very quickly, um, to be completely honest, I have not read this yet, and I am so mad at myself. It's going on my TBR for next month. It's I'm going to read it in June. Hands down, it's being read in June because I need to, because, well, I'm going to be reading Beach House Summer this month, and I'm reading this one next month, because I need to. I pre-ordered the UK edition, because I was so excited about it, and that's The Summer Seekers by Sarah Morgan, and this came out in 2021. This one, oh my gosh, my mom read this one, and she loved it, absolutely loved it. So I'm just going to read the back for you guys, because I think it'll do a much better way of explaining it than I can, as I haven't read it just yet. So, Kathleen is 80 years old. After a run-in with an intruder, her daughter wants her to move into a residential home. She's not having any of it. What she craves, needs, is adventure. Lisa is drowning under the daily stress of family life. Liza, excuse me. The last thing she needs is her mother jetting off on a wild holiday, making Liza dream of a solo break of her own. Martha is having a quarter-life crisis, unemployed, unloved, and uninspired. She just can't get her life together, but she knows something must change. When Martha seeks Kathleen's advert uh, for a driver and companion to take an epic road trip across America, she decides this job might be the answer to her prayers. Traveling with a stranger? No problem. And it couldn't be much worse than living with her parents again. Besides, how much trouble can one 80-year-old woman be? <laughs> I love it next month. So stay tuned to my channel for my full review for this one at next month. I, I'm going to, I don't do five-star predictions, but I'm predicting a five-star read here because it's Sarah Morgan and it sounds delightful. So yeah. So anyway, guys, um, the last thing I want to mention before I go, uh, like I said, her new book comes out next week, but we also have her Christmas book coming out this fall. It's called Snowed In for Christmas. If I have not seen a cover released for it yet, if there is a cover release by the time I edit and post this, I will post it here. If not, it is coming in September. September 20th, 2022 is her new Christmas book, and I can't wait for that as well. So yeah, anyway guys, that is all that I have for today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below. Are you a fan of Sarah Morgan? Which books by her have you read that you really, really enjoyed? And until my next video, everybody, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys.